Hey guys, it's Biggest AG Fan ever here back again, and today I'm going to be recreating famous TikTok challenges with my American Girl dolls. So I just want to say before we start off, I was inspired to do this video by Forever and Dollways because she did a video a little while ago where she recreated TikToks with her dolls, but I figured that there are so many TikToks out there that I could do a video on it as well. Personally, I'm not really on TikTok. The only time I ever really watch TikToks are when they're in the compilations on YouTube or when my favorite YouTubers show them on their channel or they recreate them themselves. But the ones that intrigue me the most are the transition ones, like the ones that you're seeing on your screen by Jillian Serfs. They just boggle my mind and I can't comprehend them. I chose three TikToks to recreate with my dolls and I'm going to walk you through the steps of me recreating them and show you guys the finished product. However, due to YouTube copyright rules, I can't put any of the original audio in this video. If you want to see any of the original TikToks, then you can go check them out on my biggest AG fan ever TikTok. So let's get on to the video. Sorry that this first clip was filmed vertically. It was because it is going on TikTok and TikTok videos are usually vertical. So this is actually like the behind the scenes of this actual clip. But basically I got inspired by the bed flip TikTok challenge as seen here. And I thought that seemed pretty easy. I could probably do that with my dolls. And I just sewed this beautiful boy's bedding and I figured why not use my new boy doll, which by the way, I'm pretty sure I'm naming him Clayton. So basically what I did was I tied a piece of thread around his neck and to get him to fall forward and backwards, I just pulled on the thread. And as you can see, this took a lot of tries. He definitely did not want to fall and cooperate with me. Once when I got the perfect ones, all I did was reverse the one of him falling on his back and then vice versa. There are a bunch of tutorials on how to film this TikTok on TikTok itself. So it was definitely pretty easy to follow. This was by far the easiest TikTok that I made in this video. So here is the final result. So for the wipe it down TikTok challenge, as seen in this video here, I basically filmed a stop motion, but instead of taking pictures, what I did was took short video clips so I basically just pressed record and stop recording at the same time so the length of each recording ended up being the same as a picture would be or roughly at least and this was because I decided to do this one on TikTok and then I realized that that was a big mistake after I filmed it all because it ended up being way too slow and it didn't look realistic so it ended up looking like this wasn't really satisfied with how it turned out so I ended up exporting it into iMovie and basically what I did was I chopped it up into smaller clips and I actually duplicated the part where Caroline is dressed up so that way there is two times of that and then I duplicated a little section of Caroline in her sweatshirt just to put in between the dressed up version and what I did was I sped it all up on two times speed except I actually didn't speed up the part of Caroline dressed up because for some reason when I filmed that section on TikTok, it was the perfect speed, so I just left it the same. But once when I finished editing it, I put the music over it and I think it turned out pretty good. So this is the finished product. Okay, so the next one I'm going to try to do is going to be like a loop slash transition one and I'm going to be doing it with Nanea. So basically, I am going to try to attempt this TikTok. What the? Bro. Oh my, oh my god, bro. 
Hold on, let's try again. So the two outfits I chose for Danae to switch back and forth between are Blair's casual outfit and Grace's city outfit. To film this TikTok, I used the exact same method that I did for the Wipe It Down Challenge TikTok, except this time I learned my lesson and I didn't film it in TikTok. This gave me a lot more freedom in making this video. But basically all I did was move the doll a little bit and then press record and stop record at the same time. And then afterwards I put that all into iMovie and edited it. Okay, so here I am in iMovie and to start off what I did was I sped up the clips that I recorded to make it look a little bit smoother. As you can see, it actually looks like the doll is moving now versus before. And then I just took the clip of the doll going back and forth between the two outfits and I shortened each one so that way it would look really fast like that and it would just go back and forth between the two of them. And then this part was a little bit messed up because my green screen actually did not work well. I had to take screenshots of every single frame of the video and I had to remove the background manually. So that's why some of them look a little bit like desaturated as you can see right there like those two do but then the rest of them look pretty fine so it kind of looks like she's actually there like there's two of them so i just left it as it is once when this nanea walks off the screen instead of it being green screen nanea here i change it back to the original clip right here where she is not in the green screen and i just play it really fast like i did at the beginning from here to here these are all one tenth of a second each photo which is usually what I put my stop motions at anyway and this photo is 1.4 seconds so that way when she is talking it looks like she's talking to her to make it look like it is just looping non-stop all I did was try to line up the last frame of this one with the starting frame over here so it looks like it is just one continuous loop so as you can see at the end of this it just looks like it's starting right back over, which is what I was going for. So I think it turned out pretty good, actually. Since this is supposed to be a loop TikTok, I'm going to show the TikTok twice, just so that way you can get the loop effect. Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to film a video. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I got this. Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to film a video. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I got this. So that is it. I had a lot of fun recreating these TikToks with my dolls. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. And also, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon so you will be notified every single time that I upload. And don't forget to comment down below which of my recreation TikToks was your favorite. Finally, don't forget to follow my Instagram. It is underscore biggestagfanever underscore. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.